Hey, what's up guys? So we're going to be doing a deck profile for a Clockwork Machinas. So let's get right into the deck profile. If you aren't familiar with the Clockwork Shigami, we're going to go with this card first because this is what runs the deck and this is what makes the uh, deck really good. So uh, it can't be normal summoned or set. It must be special summoned. Uh, from your hand, if the only monsters in your uh, graveyard are machine type monsters, and once per turn, you can target one face up monster your opponent controls, that target's attack becomes zero until the end phase. So that means it basically runs over anything, plus it's uh, level 8, and uh, it doesn't, you know, you can still, uh, you know, special summon. It doesn't have, like, any restrictions as far as, like, what you can do. As far as, like, it's not like you can only special summon this card. And, like, it, it's just really good. And I feel like uh, if you just go for two of these, you make two attack zero, and then you can overlay for something. And then, um, you know, like, 3,000 beater, pretty good. You know, 3,000 direct attack, basically. Then you have cards like this, which, you know, you know basically become 5,000 with uh, limited removal. I just feel like, you know, this card's really good just because you can make something zero, and then, like, this, plus, like, or anything plus limited removal, and just, like, a direct attack for a bunch of damage is pretty good. Uh, and plus, it's a dark, and, you know, you just discard it for Fortress. Just overall, really good card, and I think that uh, once this card comes out, this deck might see some uh, play in the meta. But let's go ahead and check out the deck profile, finally. So, we got Ancient Gidiltron Dragon, because we're running Triple Gear Town. Um, just also, you know, Malefics are good, and, you know, 4,000 beater. Sometimes, if you go for a first turn Malefic Cyber End, and then you just set, like, three cards, plus, you know, obviously Gear Town's face up, uh, Dino Rabbit players will just quit, because they know they can't really deal with that. And I don't blame them, because unless they draw Dark Hole... This card is just way too good because, like, what are they going to do against this card? They can't lance it. It's just way too, It's still way too strong. Even if they lance it, it's still uh, 3,200 attack. Gets over pretty much everything in their deck. And it really becomes problematic for them. Unless they're running Cyber Dragon, which they don't really... They can't really play Cyber Dragon, obviously. Um, uh, next up, we're playing Black Lives Soldier. I know it conflicts with uh, Clockwork Shiyami, but the thing is, when you go for B-Last, you win. Like, generally, that's what happens. Plus, you have... Like, well, I'm playing three Cyber Dragon plus uh, Cyber Lieutenant for my light targets. And, you know, it's just a pretty good card. Black Lives Soldier, pretty good. <laughs> uh, next up, three Clockwork Shigami. I've already explained this card. Pretty good. I really think that this card is uh, pretty game-breaking. Uh, just because, again, you just make something zero, and if they don't have anything on their field, then you just, like, OTK them. Uh, next up, three Cyber Dragon. I know it conflicts with, you know, like, having more monsters on the board. Like, keep in mind, don't special summon Cyber Dragon and then, you know, go for, like, a huge push and then not make it game. If you have game, or if you think you can make it a game, then yeah, go for Cyber Dragon, special special this, normal this, go for this, and then maybe this too, and like limited removal, like there's just so many options, but the thing with Cyber Dragon, just keep in mind that your opponent can at any time, if they have this in their extra deck, they can use this against you. Um, and that can be contact fusion from your entire side of the field. So keep in mind, don't have Cyber Dragon plus a machine out on your side of the field. It's just not a smart move. Next up, we're playing Cyber Tannin. Uh, basically, he's he basically used to uh, Clear the board if you need to, but generally he's only used because he's a light and you can discard it with Fortress. You generally don't use his other effect. But his other effect is pretty good because uh, you move from play all face up light machine type monsters on your side of the field in the graveyard, and it gains 500 attack for each one removed. And then when this card is special summoned, you, set, you send, not destroy, you send all uh, other face up monsters on the field to the graveyard. So a pretty good effect there if there's something that you can't really get over in the deck. But generally, Fortress gets rid of like everything because Fortress is amazing. Uh, so we're playing three Fortress. You could also opt to play two Fortress, one uh, Force. I personally just like Fortress because you need to get this card out immediately. Uh, just having it like first turn, is just it really just sets it up. It really feels like you have a really good advantage, especially when you open up with like this card to search this card out. Uh, so we're playing uh, three Gear Frames. Gear Frame is pretty good because it searches out this card. And three Cyber and Malefics because uh, it works with Lur, works with Gear Town. And it's 4,000 beater, and again, a lot of decks just can't deal with 4,000 beater like early on in the game. They sometimes will just quit. Um, yeah, pretty good card. And the next up, we're playing Allure just because you know this card's also dark. This card's dark, and um, Allure of Darkness is a pretty good card. Uh, I know I only have six targets with it, which is kind of like eh, but like I feel like Allure is just really good because like adding this card is just really important, and like removing these early on in the game if you don't have the setup is totally okay. Um, next up, we're playing Dark Hole. Dark Hole is pretty good. Yeah, and then three Gear Town, because Gear Town's also a pretty good card. You could bump this down to two if you wanted to. Uh, I just really like it, because like, going for first turn 4,000 meter against a lot of decks right now, they just quit. <laughs> um, I know Heretics, they're like, they're like, oh no, there's a 4,000 beater. I can only make a 3,000 beater. It, it really does hurt them a, a lot. A lot of decks just can't really deal with a 4,000 beater, and that's why I'm playing triple Gear Town. Plus, uh, you know, Gear Town is pretty good. You just uh, set it, activate another one, pretty good card. Um... And uh, next up, uh, we're playing Heavy Storm, Limit Removal, pretty standard, and Reborn, pretty standard. And then two dualities. I know this deck is all about getting the uh, Fortress out as fast as possible, as many times as possible, but uh, duality really helps you out get this card, and, uh, you know, this card is very, very important, because sometimes you'll open up with, like, Cyber Dragon, uh, Malefic, Cyber, and Kakuk Shigami, Fortress, and you're like, oh, I guess I can get out Fortress, but I'd rather duality, go for this card, add another Fortress, and it's just really good. And then uh, we are playing zero hand traps, and if you're wondering why, it's because it conflicts with Clockwork Shigami. 
and uh, you know, Maxi, Valor, you know, those are not machines, so that's why I'm playing lots of traps. And I felt like if I'm playing lots of traps, I gotta play two Starlight Road. Even though, I mean, if if they heavy me and I've had Geart Town out, like, I really don't mind because I just get out 3,000 beater out. Anyways, um, usually I will set this card. They usually know what it is, but, you know, sometimes they just they forget that the, you know, they're like, oh, I wonder what that is. But against other decks, too, like, you know, activating this against, like, Grave Keepers, it just, like, it annoys them because it basically destroys theirs as well. And then once they activate theirs, you know, I have, you know, this card out. It's pretty good. Um, so we're playing a double bottomless, triple D prison. I really like um, triple D prison just because it's pretty good, I'd say. Because uh, sometimes they'll go for like a 25 beater because they're like, oh, well, I'll just like point for point and then I'll have nothing on board for them to destroy. And then if you D prison them, they're like, oh no, I kind of, you know, used uh, the card that I um, wanted to use to get rid of Fortress, although it got D prison, so I still have to deal with Fortress because Fortress is very annoying to deal with for anyone. I'm sure anyone that played against this deck or plays this deck realizes that this card is just, it really is kind of unfair that he can discard himself. That really is what makes him so good. Uh, next up we're playing uh, the 3 Solemn Brigade, and they're playing uh, 2 Solid Road because, you know, I'm going to set a lot of stuff. Plus, I always have Gear Town, and, uh, you know, I just really like to like, go aggressive in this deck, and, like, I don't really like getting Torrential because people Torrential you, and it hurts a lot if you get Torrential. Um, next up we're playing 2 Torrential, and what I like about Torrential in this deck is if you have Fortress and you use this guy, because this guy is a Union monster, and you can equip him to uh, Fortress, and if Fortress would be destroyed, you can destroy the equip card instead, and so you can Torrential, and then you'd be like, oh, it's cool, you lose your monsters, and I keep my Fortress, and you have to deal with Fortress still, and Fortress is annoying to deal with. But yeah, pretty good stuff, and so that's been the deck profile, but let's get into the extra deck. So basically, the only thing you'll really need, I mean, you can have this card. <laughs> um, but uh, generally, this is the only card you'll ever go for. Um, you, is, this, is this 10? I don't think you can really make this card, but mm, it's just there. I guess if you were playing Trigodia, yeah, but Trigodia yeah, again conflicts with this, so I'm not going to be playing that. Same thing with the reason why I'm not playing any hand traps, because it conflicts with this card, and I think this card's awesome. Uh, but generally, you don't really make stuff. Um, but the thing is, um, I did limit removal before, and I had um, two level eights, and I used limit removal, and I, I tried to go for game, but he ended up uh, stopping my OTK, dropped gores or something, and so I was like, okay, main phase two, I'll just go for this. So I it just two level eights, just make this. It's still three thousand, and it has a pretty decent effect. So this is the only card you really need. Uh, I'd say this card. Well, you can keep this. This is, this card is just more for style points if you can pull it off. But generally, you're not going to be making Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. But uh, yeah, so let me know what you think of this deck. If there's any uh, ways you think I can improve this deck, please let me know in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to test it out. But thanks for watching, guys. Asian Eyes White Dragon, signing out.